What's up guys, my name is Matt, and you've seen this area before. You know about the Warlock Cheese. You guys have watched the crap out of that video. But that is the Warlock Cheese. Now I am a Warlock and this seems counterintuitive to say you know about the Warlock Cheese, but this isn't the Warlock Cheese because I'm doing the Warlock, I am a Warlock, but that's not how you do it this time. This way can be done as a Titan, can be done as a Hunter, and can be done as a Warlock. It can be done with as many people as you want, and I believe as long as you can fit everyone where you need to go, you don't even have to die. Now, initially, this cheese was, you'd step on this platform, and then you'd run over here, you make sure you had a supercharge, you make sure your entire fire team was wiped, all that stuff, and you'd let all these guys kill you. Now, I could show you that, and I'm actually going to show you that right here, just to give you an example, but what you used to do, and you can still do this, it still works, you wait till it counts down to one, right then and there, you go ahead and re resurrect yourself, and everything despawns, and you kill everything over there. Now, that is the normal way of doing that. But... Just to show you how to do this without that, I'm going to get this exact situation to occur by dying and not having supercharge. Now as you can see, I just respawned and I have no supercharge. Now how am I going to do this? I'm not going to wait for my supercharge. I'm going to do something totally different. Now normally, let's pretend that I am a hunter or a titan and not a warlock, but I am not, so let's just pretend. Now you normally you'd activate the bridge like normal, and here comes the sword bearer, and here comes all these guys. They're all spawned, right? So we're going to run back here, we're going to avoid the sword bear, he's going to come running down the stairs, blah de blah de blah You just go ahead and avoid him, and you're going to go into the room that he just came out of. Now in the back of the room here, there are two boxes like this. You simply hop up on these boxes. That's it. Just hop up right here, and oh my god, hang out for a little bit. The sword bearer should, they're all going to despawn, you just saw them despawn right there, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what just happened? Everything on the other side is now going to spawn. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. Now, I would go through and do this whole thing for y'all, but there's no reason for me to do this. But as you look over there, there are things, and let's see if I can actually see them, because they all just despawned on me. So I want to make sure you guys are aware that there are things over there. See, you just saw a thrall running around over there. There is some... Let me pull out my icebreaker, just to show you guys. Let's, let's Actually, it doesn't even need to be icebreaker. Let's pull out a sniper, just to prove that they are, in fact, spawned over there. Where are they? I just saw one moving around. Let's actually hop up here and show you what you would need to do in order to get this to work on your own time, doing it your own way as a hunter or a, a titan. You don't have to be a warlock, or you can be a warlock. This is a hell of a lot easier than the other way. But there's the acolyte. Everything has spawned over there. Just go ahead and clear out the two wizards and the two ogres, and you've done it. That's It's that simple. The cheese is that easy. It really is. It's absolutely crazy. All you have to do is hop up on those two boxes, and we're like... Well, let's just uh, try to get the Warlock to run out of the timer and have them despawn. Nope, just hop up on boxes. Good as in. World's Hardest Raid. Really is. Actually, it's kind of difficult. It is an enjoyable raid when you're not cheesing it. But I like to tell you guys about the cheeses. So that is the new method to do this as a Titan, as a Warlock, or as a Hunter. You don't need to be just a Sun Singer anymore to do this. And I feel that if you got your entire team up on that box, you could do this without anyone dying. So you could probably get some sort of Flawless Ranger achievement by doing it this way, and that's absolutely crazy. But if you like this sort of thing and you're new here, be sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and also subscribe. I do that totally backwards, but I like to switch it up sometimes. But as always, my name is Matt, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>